both on tier. And to find that options, find external applications, MATLAB. Then you can specify the version of MATLAB you want to use with MoFrontier. If you have multiple versions of MATLAB installed on your computer, please also do this. Besides specifying the installation path, you would go to go open the particular version of MATLAB. You'd like to have it work with MoFrontier. Then in this command window, type this command. This will register the current MATLAB version as the preferred version that you would like to like MoFrontier to work with. Next, you want to examine your MATLAB script before it can be linked to MoFrontier. The first thing is you may want to add this header. This is an optional step. It's not a must step. This will allow MoFrontier easily detect what are the input variables, what are the output variables, The second step is to make sure the clear command is coming out. Because when MoFrontier is driving MATLAB, the variable numbers, in this case x and y, will be coming from MoFrontier. If there is a clear command, the values would be cleared before MATLAB can do anything else. Likewise, you want to comment out any initialization for those variables in the script. Also, as a good practice, if you have any additional libraries, files, you'd like MoFrontier to find when running your script, you may want to use this add path and the gem path. Now this script is ready. Save it. Go to MoFrontier. What you can do is directly drop this modified script into the canvas area. Click on introspect. MoFrontier automatically detects the number of inputs as well outputs based on the FMI header. And the MoFrontier also created the workflow. You can either go to Planner at this point or stain the workflow to add more processes using our nose palette. In this case, I will just go to Planner. Let's conduct a optimization. I'd like to change the default lower bounds and upper bounds. And they can stay as continuous variables. Also, let's take a look at the output side. Make sure these two are showing up as variables. The most important step is to define objectives. I'd like to max F1, Also, max F2. Okay. 
okay. And I can run 100 pileup run. Pileup is an intelligent algorithm which combines multiple strategies and will find the best convergence based on the runs. In this case, I'm going to run 100 runs. Click on start. Give a name. Now, MoFrontier has started running. It automatically goes to this run tab. Expand that. You'll see a lot of more debugging information here. Now I have clicked on this design space. Soon you'll see the results getting populated here. Once you see the results, you don't have to wait until it is done. You can start to do the data analysis. In this case, I'm going to plot a bubble chart. Also, I'm going to plot a parallel coordinate chart. I can synchronize the charts. At the same time, I want my Predo designs, which are the optimal designs. I can use the filters to find the solution I want. I want to both as high as possible. These two are the maximizing objectives. Things the charts are updated, are synchronized. You can see um, these designs are the best designs leftovers. And you can uh, go from here. There are two additional notes I'd like to mention. The first is how to handle the vector outputs. Let's go to the user guide. You can directly search for MATLAB. The third item is the explanation of all the configurations. One of them is a notes is a note on vector parameter. In the end of your script, you may want to do this transpose before ending your script and a link to Mo Frontier because Mo Frontier only reads row vectors. The last note is when you are dealing with the Simulink or you want your MATLAB script calls Simulink, this is the best practice you should do. You always want to close any or all Simulink system windows unconditionally which should be very beneficial if you're running multiple MATLAB scripts concurrently through MoFrontier. Again, if you had support files, functions, libraries, please use this add path to tell MoFrontier how to find all those dependencies. Over here, you can write your command, which calls Simulink models. Then, you'd like to use this close system to close the Simulink model. The last error reset is important because it will remove any minor errors before it disrupts Mo Frontier and stop the run. Thank you for your attention. This concludes the video about how to integrate to MATLAB using MoFrontier.